luck for the clicks, y'all. Okay, we have a big show for you tonight. But first, we recently held a contest to win an all-expense-paid trip to be in our studio audience. And we're here to pick the winner tonight. Gigi, hook him up. Alrighty, everyone. Let's see who the big winner is. Looks like BFFs, Violet, and Hope. You just won yourself a front row seat to this awesomeness. Get on over here. Come on. <laughs> uh, Gigi? They're still at home. Oh. Ahem. Well then, I'd like to accept this prize on behalf Jeez, of... no! It's all good! We'll let them know and they'll come in. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, okay, okay. Enjoy the show, folks! Ladies and gentle monkeys, welcome back to another rousing edition of the Banana Shack Comedy Corner! Put your paws together for March the Sloth! Rock on. <laughs> knock. Knock. <laughs> Who's there? Banana. Banana who? Knock. Knock. <laughs> Who's there? Knock. to the stage, Rob O'Sapien! Knock, knock. Who's there? Oil. Oil who? Oil destroy you! Ha ha. So a monkey walks into a park. Ha ha. <laughs> it's the minis. They, uh, want you to watch their cartoon. Check back soon for the whole tale, it's funny. If you're into that sort of stuff. Ah yes, and like most natural habitats, it comes with its own, um, <clears throat> uh, Meet the Minis. she keep doing this to us? I mean, does she actually think this is funny? I don't get it. <gasps> Banana! What kind of bear has no teeth? A gummy bear! <laughs> knock, knock! Who's there? Banana delivery! <laughs> Seriously, I have bananas to destroy you! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Hey, Minnie Bella! Hey, Lulu! Boo! Oh, come on! Knock! Knock! Who's there? Orange juice! Orange juice, glad you didn't answer the door. I want my bananas. BFFs in the house. <laughs> Here they are! They
They're winning at twinning. They're crushing their crushes. They're the simians with the... The... Bella and Boris! Hey, everyone. I'm Bella. And I'm not. Thank you, Boris. And I'm Gigi. That's Gigi. She's friendly, but safe. Honest. Follow for follow, fam! <laughs> everyone and enjoy the show ladies and gentle monkeys welcome to the banana shack now on to our first performer of the evening straight from sloth beach give it up for Mars the sloth thanks knock knock who's there Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? Knock, knock. Hello, Melody Village. Hey, hey boys. boys. Alrighty. What is Beethoven's favorite fruit? Banana. -na. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say? Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, knock. Uh. I mean, seriously, what's the deal with slippers? Are they shoes? Are they banana peels? I don't get it. Do you slip? Do you not slip? Make up your mind. Oh! No, wait. <coughs> is tiny, cute, but packs a big punch. Let's give a warm welcome to Goldie the Mini! <laughs> and finally, contestant number three, Finn. Ladies and gentle dudes, Bella the Monkey! Welcome, Bella. Thank you. You've prepared questions and now we're gonna let you ask them. Good luck! Contestant number one, if you were a cloud, what shape would you be? That is so sweet! I never looked at it that way! <laughs> okay, contestant number two, same question! <laughs> so, true! <laughs> Number three, if you were a cloud, what shape would you be? Well, I'd say it would be yin and yang. <laughs> 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 <la
thing. Two complementary shapes, beautiful and soft, but only truly existing when we're together, like we would be as best friends. Okay, I guess. Huh? Contestant one, you sound so musical. As besties, what kind of music could we make together? I love that! That would be a blast! <laughs> uh, what's happening? You know what that sound means! It's time for the last question, Bella. The floor is yours. Okay, um, so to close, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? And how would you use it to help others? Here we go. Okay, final contestant. What superpower would you use to help others in need? Oh, 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 ah, 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 e -e -e -e. la, la, la. <clears throat> that is no joke. The most beautiful thing I have ever heard in my life. We'll be right back after the break, folks. Stay tuned for more Bestie Matchups. And now we have a real treat. A sneak peek of our new cartoon, Meet Marge. What's up? She's, um, she's a sloth. to be watching her candy intake. <laughs> you might have a point. Enjoy the show, folks! Hi, I I'm here for the audition. Oh, we're getting right to it? Okie dokie. Let's do this! Oh, the drought, Paul. It's just been so dry. I'm afraid we can't afford to keep the farm. Is what I'd be saying if we didn't have the greatest crop of all time. <laughs> Listen up, people. We are dealing with the storm of the century here. We need to think fast and act faster if we're going to survive the beautiful warm weather. The jungle is filled with so many precious creatures for Mother Nature herself. Likes to realize how amazing our planet really is. We'll just see about that, Miss Buttercup. You don't want to miss your train. <laughs> oh no, I need someone to come and save me. Help! Help! I... I'm sorry. This whole damsel in distress thing just really isn't my thing.
You're hired? <laughs> Fella, here's a sneak peek at a brand new cartoon featuring Boris. <laughs> Too sad. Boris is what you might call a professional sleeper. Other and pull some pranks every now and again. But really, I love you, bro. Aww. Love you too, Bells. Behind you! What? What is it? What am I looking for? <laughs> what? What is it? What am I looking for? Come on, tell me. Tell me. Show me. What? <laughs> yeah, this what isn't going that? away anytime soon, kiddos. Come Thanks for watching. Come on, tell me. <laughs> the making of the greatest Fingerlings movie ever made. Like, ever. The documentary. Filmed over 28 months and cast with every superstar in the Fingerlings world, the film was set for commercial and critical success. Why is it so expensive? But despite concerns from studio head Finn McBigwig, production moved forward, casting their first lead role, that of Fingerling star, Boris the Monkey. I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie, I'm in a movie. A veteran performer on the Fingerling show, Boris was eager to spread his artistic wings. I guess, yeah, I was looking to show that I had a serious side. I get typecast a lot as the funny dude, the handsome lead, the love interest, stuff like that. I guess I just wanted the world to know there's a real actor behind all this leading man exterior. I'm in a movie. I'm in a movie. I'm in a movie. This city is mine. Just like this sky. All mine. I'm their protector. Their savior. Their... Ah! Cut! Written, produced, and directed by Marge the Sloth, the film was an opportunity for the mammal to tell a deep and personal story. I like when stuff blows up. And action! Uh, I forgot my line. Who am I playing again? Cut! In a daring move, the studio agreed to cast the minis, an acting troupe notorious for causing trouble wherever they go. Listen to me. We are partners, and partners can't be stopped. We are one. You hear me? One. I love you, man. <laughs> now let's stop these bad guys. Well, I just read the part and immediately knew we had to stop doing our two monkey play and immediately commit. Oh, yes, very true. They did spend a lot of money, though, didn't they? Please, please, Marge! Can you please stop spending so much money? This movie is killing me! Yeah... No. But I'm the boss! Oh man. Capitalizing on her immense popularity on social media, the studio hired mega personality Gigi the Unicorn in hopes of increasing box office success. Um, instead of answering your questions, do you mind if I plug my new cartoon? Well, I guess. Oh, goodness! Um, do we have a clip? Uh, you brought one, so... Yeah. Can I tell you a secret? Please. Okay, well. <laughs> A 
as production moved on, Marge doubled down on her wish to film the most expensive dance number ever made. Mainly because the Glitter Girls had very good lawyers. <laughs> Defying all expectations, Marge cast robotic action star, Rob Osapien. Come with me if you want to live, before I destroy you! I just really connected with the script. Um, does anyone know what this movie is about? <laughs> so much money! Unicornica, you won't stop me! Cat Raptor, my arch nemesis, you aren't going anywhere! Well, what are you going to do about it? Disclaimer, fingerling toys do not shoot real laser beams. Call it a success or failure. Call it the whim of people with too much money. <laughs> I never agreed to this! But if there is one thing to be said for Marge's greatest and only film ever made, it's that the power of dreams is still alive and well in the world of the fingerlings. That is, until... But that's a story for another time. Okay, you guys! She should be here any minute! I can't wait to meet her, I'm so excited! Oh, I know! Me too! I'm totally excited! She's coming! Everybody get in the position! Light. Oh! Sorry? Welcome to the Fingerlings? Yay! Fingerlings tip number 104. Do not throw a dragon a surprise party. Actual Fingerlings dragons do not breathe fire. That would be silly. And now, here she is, our very special guest host, Tara the Dragon! Thank you, everyone. So nice of you all to come to my very first Fingerling show. My name is Tara the Dragon, and I want to thank Bella and Boris for letting me guest host. No, thank you, Tara, for coming and bringing all your dragon friends. Yeah, but uh, don't get too comfy in that chair. <laughs> Boris! Just saying, Bells, it always starts with the guest host. Then you know what's next? Your parking space! Is he always like this? Pretty much, yeah. Works for me! Let's fly! Hey, Bella! Yeah, Boris? Know how many tickles it takes to make an octopus laugh? Nope, sure don't. Ten tickles. Tentacles, get it? Um... Oh, come on, that was funny! Hey, Molly! Yes, Mackenzie? Where do cows go for fun? I don't know. Where do cows go for fun? The movies! Knock, knock. <clears throat> knock, knock. Oh dear. My name is Marge, and I'm here to say if you're here to rap, Marge, then get out Marge, of my way. Marge! It's a rap party with a W, not rap as in. Oh! Okay, so a monkey, an elephant, and a sloth walk into a... No, wait. A monkey, elephant, and a turtle walk into a... No, wait. They were driving, not walking. <laughs> I think. That's so Gigi! Oh! Somebody hashtag that! You see, there is a fictional door, on the other side of which is an unknown guest. Attempting to announce themselves in a comedic fashion. And our job is to deduce who it could be. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. Knock, knock. <sighs> what do you get when you cross the... Ah! Call now. <laughs> No, 
Okay, seriously, joke's over, everybody. Let's just answer the question and we can all move on with our day. Knock, knock. Enough! I will be insulted no longer! I am going to get my own show! Just you watch me! Who's there? So let me get this straight. They also let you make cartoons? Yep. People seem to like them. Oh, wowzers! You just blew my mind! That's it. We're staying. I'm talking to my dad. Enjoy the clip! Good night, Bella. Your spirit's so bold. You're brave and so strong when all else is told. And good night, Boris, who's play- Keep it moving, dude. I sleep three hours a night. Thank you so much, everyone, for a great show. And thanks, Tara, for joining the family. And a dance party? Nah. And thank you for coming back. If you keep coming for them, we'll keep making them. Good night, everybody. and subscribe below for more Fingerlings fun! Trust me, there's a lot more where that came from. Shh, Polly! Spoiler alert! Let's not ruin the surprise! See you next time!